Okay, more destruction is required. Fortunately, the soft wood doesn't go very deep. So we'll make that our aim to remove all the soft wood and then see what's left. All right, I've removed some of the central structure, which is all dry. And the other soft bits over there, which doesn't go down that far. Here's the central structure. It's some form of hardwood. Looks like it's used resourceful glue, which is the dark ends. Okay, coat of epoxy on all the bare wood. Right, that means the good work won't be undone by the rain, which is forecast for tomorrow. Uh, looks like they're ready for another mono hole of some description to come out tomorrow. last of the rain has worked its way into spring. Well, lunchtime, so I suppose we'll go to the boat. Now, need some plywood. This bit should do. and a bit of marking well that was hard work granddad putting yes. on four layers of glass and a gale I turned the gale up yeah. so four layers of glass and peel ply As Grandad says, everything is on the bottom. All the rain and thunder last night doesn't seem to have affected the glass, which is good.
micro balloons and fibre. the epoxy filler on the surface with the sun and the relatively warm temperature is dried enough that we can give it a sand after a fashion Okay, now to bed them in epoxy. Right, we'll let them go off, take the nuts off, lift the bollard and plate off, top up the holes, and Bob should be the uncle. <laughs> 